Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Match Village. So this is a cool little puzzle adjacent -y game uh, made by a solo dev once again. I, I love uh, the solo devs, yeah, especially this one because he knows that hexagons are the best guns. So we'll get into a new game, and essentially this is like a island builder type thing. Highly inspired by Dwarf Romantic. I, I see you put that on the left side rather than the right side. <laughs> <laughs> so these are your tiles, um, but this plays a bit more like Islanders, but also sort of very different. It is, it is unique. Now, this game is called Match Islands, and seeing as there are World Cup football matches going on right now, yes, I may have turned into Linus, but we're having this segue. Today's sponsor has a collaboration with the GOAT himself. Not that one, not that one, but Lionel Messi. PUBG Mobile is one of the most popular free-to-play mobile battle royale games. It's been downloaded over a billion times. It's got loads of different game modes, six different maps, and offers many cool skins for regular collabs with brands, IPs, and celebrities like Spider-Man, Lamborghini, and now the GOAT! It's the GOAT! Lionel Messi. During the World Cup, he will feature in a special time-limited event where you can unlock him for free by completing weekly activities. You can unlock his golden boots, allowing you to dribble like Messi himself, as well as a whole host of Messi-themed customizables like skins, weapons, parachutes, and more. And of course, to celebrate the actual World Cup. The Global Chicken Cup update will be coming soon too with many football. Yes, football, not soccer. You use your feet, kick a ball. It's called football. Themed items like new football pitches, a football airdrop, and much more. So download PUBG Mobile for free by booting the link in my description and check out the latest Messi collab and Chicken World Cup update now. Um, so essentially you've got like different sorts of tiles. You've also got this totemy thing and you've got you to gotta get points by placing things next to things if that makes sense and every time you put it down it has like a blue range thing and if that blue range is in range of this totemy pole thing yeah, you can see you get plus 50 points so you sort of want to work around there if you're aiming for points um so let's place that first field down there so we got two points for the field 50 for the thing right this next piece is the lumberjack thing and you would think that has to go near trees but no because this is called match island the idea is that you like match similar pieces so if i if i just shove this up there for example um our next piece is a field now with this field i want to put this over with the original one and then when you match three of the same it turns into like a leveled up field so i'm going to shove that there get the 52 points uh, my score's in the bottom right by the way and if you fill up that i think it's like a windmill thing uh, then you get to go to a new island that's sort of what you're aiming for as well as your high scores but obviously going to a new island means it's easier to get your high scores um we've got we've got just a random bit of field here i might shove the fields in the bottom left yeah so this is another lumberjack so i want to shove this next to that you can actually place on top of trees and rocks they're not in the way or anything uh, so i'll shove that there all right we've got a church and you'll notice with the church it's got a bigger area so we can actually still get in range of that 50 points so i think i'm going to go there with that one and then we've got the third bit of field now you don't have to match these like like in a triangular shape you can do like a you can do like a line you can see the white sort of shows as long as they're touching, they're uh, they're going to be they're going to level up. So if I if I plonk that there, you'll see. Look, oh, they all combined into a big field. It's got fences around it. So this next piece is like a it's like a house part of a village. I might shove this over here on this island. Like we're going to have this whole island for jobs, and people can just live over this side. Um, and it's worth noting as well the the last place you piece. No, that's that's not how you say that sentence, Matt. The last piece you place is where they all merge to, like when they combine. So I'll probably start this one like literally on the beach a beachside property that we're not beachside a beach just a beached property <laughs> Yeah, we've then got another lumber yard, so I think I'll just shove that there. You can see they all combine into the, the last one there. And if you look above, can you see that's like a quest? So that wants four logging things around it in order for that one to level up. Yeah, kind of cool. Right, so this church, you can see actually churches, they don't like being in range of the new lumber mill. So we either get docked the 40 points or I try and build a new church area like over this way. I've already got a church there though. I think if I build there, we'll take the minus 40 this time because uh, we did get the 50 for down there so it wasn't too bad and then our next one can go like where that bit of grass is like where my mouse is so because you can sort of lead buildings away as long as you build your last one where you don't want it right anyway we've got grass so i'm gonna shove that I think in the middle there and the next one goes there nice so we've got lots of grass we've got another bit of field so i'm gonna shove that there then two more grasses so i'm gonna do i think i'll do there and there and then my next one will be there um, but for now i've got the lumber mill so let's start surrounding this thing so that that's 20 points. You can see that's gone down to three plus, meaning we just need three more lumber mills to complete that. House goes top left and then the field 
can go down there. And then we've got some grass. So I'm going to do that. So that all goes into that corner. Nice. The village goes up there, which merges all of those into a bigger house. Decent. And then the third field goes there. It sort of looks like a paw, like an upside down paw. Uh, but we'll do that and they all merge. And then obviously, if we can get another one of them, that will be three of those fields merged. Uh, but for now, we're working on we're working on fields over here. So we want our last one to end up probably in the middle. because I think we want to surround it afterwards. So that's the last place I want to go with those. So lumber mill up there, grass there. Right, and then the church. So you can see if I if I place that there or there, we get the minus 40 points. But if I do it there, I'm out of range of that big lumber yard. So no minus points. So I think I'll shove that there. Mega church. Right, now we finally got the grass. So I'll shove that there and that should double combined. Did you see that? Decent. And now you can see, can you see that six plus? That tile, it's got fences around it. So that's the tier two grass. So I need to completely surround this in tier two grass, which is going to be quite tricky, I think. Uh, so I need to think about the hardest ones to get. It's probably going to be that one. So if I start with my grass, perhaps there, we can start building our villages over this way. So a house there, a house there, and then lumber yard. I could merge all them, but I'm better off going over this side, I think. So now we're just on to one plus. And with the fields, I know this is going to have to get surrounded like this one. So I don't want to make this level two field on the edge or next to that. I probably want to make it. Well, there's actually, there's not, there's not, oh no. There's not a good place to do this. The church is in the way. Unless we can merge the church away. I think we'll try and merge the church away then. So I'll do build there. This lumber yard, I'll shove it there. And that completes that quest. And look, we got loads more tiles for that. Uh, then it's just a case of trying to merge them all into like a bigger building again again. But uh, it's worth doing the quests because you get your more tiles. So a bit of grass there. We'll do a house up there. And oh, churches don't like being in range of anything. Churches are annoying, man. Minus 90 points. Okay, well, I'll shove that there. We got that bit of field. And then we got two churches, so we can drag these ones away by doing that and then that. Oh, we're getting minus points. Not good. All right, then houses up here. I think we want to go there. This church, we want to want to try and get things away. I think if I go there, we've got our other house there. And then our next church, I guess that can go there. And another house there. And these should level up twice. Boosh, look at that house. That is a big boy house. Uh, then we just, we just got to combine that into three again. So I guess we do that. We move the grass down to there and that gets the fenced one over that way which is five plus on that quest which is good so a house there and then the final church goes in that bit which levels all of those up and then a mega church and that one's got a quest oh and that quest is actually to surround it in those types of houses interesting now, unfortunately we are working on a mega super uber house over here so i don't know if we'll be doing that we probably should try but for now let's just keep the fields going so we want to end up on that one so i'm going to do that last so do that one first, then that one. We'll shove the field over there. Oh, look, that's turned into a windmill. Nice. And then that final bit of grass goes there. So that's two fields next to this. If we want our next piece to be there, that's got to be the last one. So I just do that one first. We'll do a village up there. So that combines into one of those. And the next village back on the beach, of course. Right, so this windmill needs the fenced fields. So I need level twos. So I'll shove that there ready to level up. Uh, the grass can go there and the next one there. And that gets three plus on those. Nice. So another bit of field there. The grass can go. Well, I think we're pretty flexible now. We just got to make sure we fill in those two first. Uh, field there. So that's our first level two field. Nice. I think bit of grass there. A couple more fields. And then that bit of grass can go there to fill the gap. Another field there. So that's level two bit of field done. This bit of grass. I think we do that. Field goes there. Grass goes there. And look, we've only got one more piece left for the grass. Oh, another house. So the house can go, I think if I get rid of those trees and shove it there, the next one can go in the middle. Uh, oh, and now we have that house, so we can shove that there. And now we just need one more level two house, and then that will turn into a level three house. And then we're close to getting that to a level four house. All right, so grass there, ready for the last piece of grass when we get that. I think I'm going to put my level three house on that square, maybe. Or should I do down it? Maybe down here, because then we're getting closer to this. So little houses on the sand, final bit of grass in there, and boosh. That mission is completed. Give me all those tiles. Uh, bottom right, we're pretty close to uh, getting the score to move on to a next island, but uh, we'll keep going. So house there, field there. Um, I don't know what to do with the grass now. Do I just start? Do I start a new one? Is that like max leveled? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if this house will level up. Only one way to find out, I guess. But grass can go there and 
there, and then another one there. Will they combine at all? No. Okay, I'm guessing that's like its own sort of separate thing now. Um, that's the final bit of village, so that should, yeah, level up twice. I'm just wondering if I make that a level three up, uh, will that turn all of these into a level four? I don't know. So house there and a house there. This field, we can just shove that up there. Decent. So house there, that's a level two up. You want another level two up over here. Nice. And then the final one, if I do a house there and a house there, then that just goes on that bit. And then we'll see if they level up. I'm not entirely convinced. Yeah, but for now, let's get some points with the with the fields and the totem pole thing. So that, that. Yeah, oh, finally got another lumber yard. I think we'll shove that there. All right, and then the final bit of village. So this should level up twice and technically three times if those two merge in it. They'll all be the same level. Oh, it does. Ooh. Okay, so now we have a proper big boy hat. Look at the size of that thing. Um, but Phil. Fields. fields is what we're focusing on. So field there. I think we'll do that there. Right. Should I try and complete the quest? Or shall I actually try and level that up again? I feel like we could level it up again. Maybe. If I start my villagers back there again. So we got level two there. I should be able to get a level three behind it. But first we got a field to deal with. So field there. Oh, we only need one more field for that as well. So now we just need a level two to finish on that point. So if we do a house there, another house there, and a house in the middle, they level up decent. So I'm just trying to get the level three to end up either there or there, I think. Oh man, this is like, this is proper thinking ahead. I'm trying to think like how many houses I need to get to each level to finish on the tile that I want. Yeah, so I think house there, house there, bung this field over there for the plus 50. All right, and then we're just focusing on houses. It looks like we've only got houses for a bit as well, so that's good. So that one goes there. Nice. So we need three of those to level up. So I want to finish on that tile. So I'll do that one that one. Put the last field over this way so that completes that quest. Thank you very much. And then we got loads of houses. So that one goes there. Nice. So I think we want the final level three house to finish there. So that means I need a level two house there and a level two house there. I mean, or in a line, whatever. And a level two house is three level one houses. So I might want to start all the way back here, if I'm honest. Oh, if I build in range of the church, I get plus 40 for each house. And in range of the mega house, I get plus 30. So I'll tell you what, I'll do a house there. And then a house there. The fields I'm not too fussed about anymore. But yeah, we want that to finish there. So that's level two. Oh, wait. No, they're level two. Oh, I thought they were level three. See, that's why this game gets confusing. Right, so if I do that and then that. I don't know which ones are going to combine. I guess only one way to find out, right? So, oh, they all combined. Oh, okay. We've done, we're have we getting there. We are getting there. So now we've got two level fours, I think. So yeah, let's just let's just spam houses and see how it goes, I guess. So we got that. We got that. And then we got that. So they should all merge. Oh, and I thought they would have merged. Why haven't they merged? All right, well, keep building houses, as they say. So that goes in there. That goes in there. And then if I do that, that and that. They go in there. No, they've stopped merging. Okay, I think they've stopped merging because we've got the quest perhaps. Yeah, either way, we have, we've, we've completed this island. So if we want to get more points, we should probably go to the next island. So let's go start an expedition. Yay. Oh, look, island two is a snowy island. I mean, fields can't grow on sand. So it's probably worth doing these like, oh, they can't grow on rock either. Okay. So yeah, we'll do these bottom left. Uh, grass. Wait, is this not grass? Oh, this is like seaweed. We can grow in the sea. That's cool. Oh, and this is actually grass. So is that the same? Yeah. So grass and fields are the same. So I'll do those sort of nearby. I think you want churches near houses. Oh, they can go up there. Okay. Probably way up this end, just sort of out the way. So we got a first level two field. Oh, thank you. Oh, I just realized there's no there's no totem pole in here for like extra points. That's annoying. Anyway, fields go like that. That's a level two. We've then got the houses. So I'll start doing houses nearby to the church. Perhaps on these rocks. Another church up here. And then logging camp. I should probably do this out the way, like, well, well out the way of the churches. Churches don't like any like industry, it seems. So we can do that there, another one there. All right, there's another church. So that levels up the church. Boosh, big boy church. Yeah, we'll then do a level two house up there. Nice. And then level two lumber yard down there. Decent. All right, so that's the church with the minus 40. Get that away from the lumber yard. I think I'm going to try and aim to build it in that corner. So if I start there, we've got some seaweed. So that's a level two seaweed, which I've never seen before. What is that surrounded by? Mini icebergs? Don't know. I think for the level three field, I think we want that up there because I think is a level three field a windmill or was it a different building oh I can't remember I can't remember anyway field there we got another church over this way so that goes there so yeah with the fields I'm gonna do that so yeah there you go straight into the windmill nice yeah, we've got to surround this logging camp with more logging camps we'll do that one and then it's just working on getting the 
the level two fields around the windmill as well as these houses. So I think I want level two house there and I want houses nearby. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to start working on houses around here. And then the final church to get another level two are there. Decent. So hopefully I can get the level three there and because they're in a line, they should all merge. Uh, we're going to get the fields to combine there. Nice. Another logging camp there bit of grass there final logging camp there that is that quest completed loads more tiles we were running low we're up to 17 again now yeah, another bit of seaweed there nice all right so for the churches i want to end up there so i'm going to start furthest point away and then just work towards it the house i think that's where i want the house to go because then that's next to the big church because ready this is going to combine twice so they combine then they combine so our next church goes there we'll just quickly deal with this seaweed if i shove seaweed there we've then got the church so this one if i shove it there then they should all combine to where my mouse is now so ready one two Nice. And then that church wants five more houses surrounding it. They're level three houses. We've already got one. So we're halfway, well, not halfway there. Right, more fields down here. And then it's just a case of trying to work out how do we get our level three houses to surround this. It's going to be mental. Anyway, this field piece, that gets that up to three plus. So we're close to finishing that. So I'm going to I'm gonna do the bottom, this one first. So if I do there and then there. So logging camp there. We've got a house. So that wants to go back there right because yeah that's a level two and i need level threes to do the church quest okay got it uh, the field can go there that finishes the gap so now that's just two plus that's nearly done uh, we got a final bit of seaweed so that can go there look it's the strongest shaped seaweed what a coincidence i definitely didn't mean to do that anyway we'll shove that there boosh boosh Ooh, oh that's cool it's a seaweed farm it's got like a water wheel and everything okay so that needs six level two seaweeds around it nice uh, so these houses i think i need one there and one on there. We'll shove that grass there. That should level that up into the next thing. Yeah, look, we need six plus level two grasses on that. Um, but for now, let's let's do the seaweed. We've got seaweed now and the next tile after the house. So we'll just shove the house I think there. So that's a level two up. Nice. And now we've got loads of seaweed. So seaweed there and there. So that's one. And I sort of noticed rather than like building like my, my adjacent tiles further away, I should probably build them like around because I get plus 50 every time I do that. Whereas back here, I only get like the plus plus two or whatever it is. Now that's points. So that's the bottom right, not, not number of tiles. So yeah, I'll shove that there. For the field, I'm going to go there for the plus 50. You shove that there and there. Another one there and there. Now, annoyingly, where I've built these, I won't be able to complete both the tasks because look, they, they overlap. This tile here, it's shared with the windmill and that. Oh, that's really, really annoying. So yeah, I won't be able to complete those. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Anyway, seaweed, we've got no problem. We've got loads of space out at sea. Yeah, and the houses, I think they're going okay as well. So I'll do a house there. We've got some more seaweed. So we'll do the, the added points method. So there, there, and there. Nice. And we'll do there and there. Final bit of seaweed for that one. Then we just need one more seaweeder. So because we want to end there, we can't get the extra points. We've got to do that. Shove the house there. So that all levels up. Nice. That quest is getting done. And then final two bits of seaweed. I can do one there, one there. That is that quest done. It's an aquatic farm. Ooh. I think that's maxed out, basically. Um, so I'm guessing with the seaweed... I probably want to focus somewhere else now, right? So I don't know. Let's go. Let's go over this way a bit. Yeah, this bit of field, I can put that there. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do the field quest rather than that quest. I get minus points for this, but I sort of need it in order to get the tiles. And then it's just added points method, I guess. All right. So with the field, we've only got one bit remaining. So that's where I want to end up. So if I start far away, just do this house out the way as well. So I can put this other field there, and then the next field goes like where my mouse is. We'll just use this place for added points. So there, there, shove a house up that way. And that's the final field piece. Nice, we've done the quest. So 24 tiles, decent. Um, I might do my next fields like way over this way then. We'll continue the grass just for the for the points. All right, so with the houses, I feel like that's what I probably should focus on next. I gotta end up with a level three there. That's a level two. So I just need to finish with a level two there, but also add a level two there. Meanwhile, these are the final field pieces. So that's all we can do with that field. That's a bit bollocks now uh, but back to houses back to houses so we're doing two beach properties and then a final one up there nice and then i've just got to get my my final one in there which means i need a house down there get rid of these bits of grass damn grass and then my next house there and then the next house there so that should level up twice right 
Boosh, boosh. Yes, and that's surrounding the church. Decent. I can do it if I think. So I'm going to try and do this in the most points efficient way. So basically, I want to build as close to the church as I can all the time. If I do one house there, another house there, and then one back there, and that's a level two up there. I then want to do the same, but like around here. Boosh. And then sort of the same again. Well, I need to finish that middle one, really. So one there. One down there, and then one up there. So that should bring them all up. Nice, and we just got two to go. So if I do one, two, three, like that. One there, and one up there. So that's those two. And then I just do like a straight line from right to left, I think. So one, two, three, boosh, boosh. Ah, oh, yes, we're getting it done. We're getting it done. So I just got to do the, the opposite thing down the bottom. So one house there one there and then one there nice uh, meanwhile i've been i've been working on my farms over here i've got another windmill i think we go house there get that filled over this way we do house there and then house there so they end up in the right place and then just a straight line back in remembering to do the fields as well so then house house that is those done the church is leveled up um so i'm guessing those houses are sort of stuck i can't level up those houses anymore so if i want a higher level house i have to do that separately so i'll do that over this way so we got house there do a house there and there um so house that way so that's another level two so now we just need level three i think i want it to finish there so if i just go one two three that's boosh boosh right nice now i want two more of those to go there and there and probably end up in that one that's one level two house there and there that's another one so i just want the, the final one to finish there so that's just one two three boosh 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 nice cheeky bit of farm there that is racking up the points by the way uh, so i'm thinking if i just do like that one that one get the points for down there and then do that one so that's a level two -er. i get another level two there by doing boosh 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 and then the final one ends up there so i could do boosh 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 and then they all merge mega house oh and annoyingly if i'd done the mega house to like finish there i think we would have got two of these built already um thankfully we're nearly on to the next island though we've got ten thousand points so another house there and then i think we can do the remaining house which has got to end up there we can just do it with full points so one there one there and then one there that's a load of points and one of them down decent and then quickly finish this one because that's oh look we've only got one more field left down there if i shove that there and then i just want to do boosh 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 that's another one done nice for max points as well yeah, so with the field we want to start far away and finish there so let's do that one and then the houses up here we'll do boosh 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 then boosh boosh shove the farm down there boosh and then all three of these can be pointers oh look at this look at this we are getting points for days then we do another two close and then go down there and then we do three with the field to finish that quest and then we finish that quest as well oh there's so many points going on i love it yeah but then up here it gets a bit tricky because we are running out of space but i reckon if i do those two and there and then do the same but backwards yeah i then got field which i don't actually know where to put at all we're like we're nearly maxed out on fields i'm just focusing on houses now so yeah i just go one two three that's that one done and then the final one should be pretty easy i just do that and then just a cheeky surround that's the last one boosh 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 that is a max level house thing surrounded by houses very cool right i think we probably go to the next island now let's go anyway guys that was match village a nice little puzzly high score game developed by a solo dev so go support him go buy it on steam and i'll say peace love and hex guns are the best guns bye guys